great to be with you today. Thank you for joining us. Remember yesterday that Jesus drove out the money changers and those that were selling animals and said that his father's house had been made a den of robbers. Um, you know, by calling it his father's house, he was also saying, I'm, I'm the son of God. But now he's still in the temple and it says blind and lame people came to him in the temple. This is Matthew 21. And uh, he healed them. And then the chief priests and the scribes, the ones who had financial gain from uh, all the stuff going on in the court of the Gentiles, saw the wonderful things that he was doing. And then there were also children shouting in the temple, Hosanna to the son of David. So they were praising him as the Messiah. And it says they became indignant, the chief priests and the scribes. And they said, do you hear what these children are saying? And Jesus quoted Psalm chapter 8, which was definitely a psalm about God Almighty. And he said, have you never read out of the mouths of infants and nursing babes, you have prepared uh, praise for yourself? Hmm. The rest of that is because of the adversary that you might steal the enemy and the avenger, which would be the devil. Jesus is saying that the motivation that the devil had was pride, the desire to be worshipped, and that God was getting praise out of little babies, <laughs> infants and suck, suckling children, uh, to put the devil in his place, that uh, he'll get praise from everybody. Remember also, uh, Jesus said the very rocks would cry out praises to him if people weren't doing it. So he hit them in their pocketbook, but this passage also says he hit them in their pride. He tipped the balance because it says in Matthew chapter 23 that they loved the praise of men and they loved to be called rabbi in the marketplace. And so their lives were all about attention and money. Hmm. Sound like a lot of people you know? Well, the Bible says that a Christian's life is supposed to be about servanthood and humility and sacrificial giving. And the strange thing about that is it's very fulfilling because it's just the way that Jesus was and it's just the way that the Spirit of Christ works in the heart of a believer. Let the Lord have his way, and you and I will have a blessing that the rest of the world can't understand as we give sacrificially and as we humble, humbly serve other people. May God richly bless you. All done.